welcome back to a new episode of a series Universities for Newbies And last month we had reviewed the foreign trip university campus And this time after the social distancing is over Our next destination for freshmen will be Ulus That's right, this is the University of International Study and Languages Ulus <laughs> made a name for itself not only as a top educational institution but also a unique architecture and the most typical constructions are C2 buildings also known as French campus and now let's get started In 1979, the project on Faculty of French Language and Cultures building was commenced. Granted by the French government, the work is highly appreciated for its architectural values and has served as a meaningful landmark for promoting bilateral ties between Vietnam and France. The campus comprises the high and low raised structures that are solid but harmonious. The expert of the Paris Architecture's Office selected a design style which were European inspired but still familiar with the Oriental culture. The layout of the building facade is the blended harmony of yin and yang with the sub projects and the system of culturally specific Vietnamese trees. I'm walking along the corridor covered by the yin yang tile roof. This corridor connects all the building and creates an architecture highlights in this campus. The conception of this construction was inspired by the Vietnamese ancient roofs with semicircular tiles pieces facing each other. Owners, this orange brick wall is a famous photography spot. It has a reputation for the vintage looking which contributes a lot to spread out the image of this faculty in particular and our university in general. And what we can do here is, of course, to take a selfie. But first, let me take a selfie. Second is to study chillingly. A few moments later We all have to learn the poem Ông Đồ in the secondary school, right? Now I am standing in the front of the very famous hall named after the author of the poem Vũ Đình Liên who contributed to modernizing Vietnamese literature and art in the early 20th century and he was also the first dean of the French faculty. This hall is designed with a capacity of 270 seats serving seminars and the performance for the student and the teacher here. Finally, we all finished a tour around the French QT building. Hold up with our sharing, our adorable freshmen will have so much interesting experience in Ulis. And now, see, see you again, again in the, the next, next episodes. episodes.